Hello, hello. Welcome back to, well, first of all, welcome officially 2024. Can you believe it? I am gonna today go through, well, this evening, basically start my vision board. It is January the 2nd. So I didn't do this before the year. I'm doing it now. I feel like there's that rush of like, you need to do it now, you need to do it now. But how I love to do it. It's just when I'm ready. And you can do it in February if you like. You could do it in July, you know? You can always do a vision board and reset yourself. And set yourself some dream big goals, some small goals. So that is what we are going to do. First things first is I am a very, very visual person. So I will use Canva to kind of create my mood boards and etc. things like that. And then I use Pinterest to get the images, the vibe and everything that I want. And obviously like I love that very cool girl, old school, vintagey, just like subliminal, 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 subliminal messaging so it's not like in your face kind of vibe so yeah there's some goals i really want to achieve this year over the next few months to the end of the year even if it goes through to next year <laughs> I mean, some of them are outrageous but if you don't have outrageous goals no one else is gonna have those dreams for you so you gotta you gotta dream big i have started getting my pinterest images together and something when i go on pinterest what i would recommend is i basically go so like my homepage on pinterest anyway i think is just like the vibe because of everything that I've already scrolled and I save and etc cetera, etc cetera, things like that so I go on my home page rada 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 and then I basically typed into my notes keywords and all my key goals that I either want to feel or I want to do this year and I think feeling is like really important as well when you're doing your vision board because like if you're not feeling good you can't you just you're not going to get your goals whatever they are if you feel like a pile of all the time is gonna become extremely draining and so hard for you. Putting in the words that you want to feel into your Pinterest as well, I think is really important. And then I basically always just put the word aesthetic behind everything I write. So for example, if I'm like, if I just type happy, so like happy aesthetic, and then it just kind of comes up with these kind of vibes and you just give it a scroll, see what, you know, see what, see what, it's what speaks to you. You know, like these nuns, they are speaking to me. Fun fact, first school nursery I ever went to was actually run by nuns. It is safe to say I have sinned. I'm sorry to them, but I had a great time. So hey, like that, ah, oh, dreamy old lady with an ice cream. That's not gonna be my goal for this year coming. Maybe when I'm 80, happy old lady with an ice cream will be on my Pinterest save boards. But yeah, and then you kind of like can save those feelings and put those images like amongst your actual goals. So for example, I don't know if I like to say what my actual fully fledged goals are because when well, I've done that, I'm just, you know, strange. For example, a goal would be women's health front cover. I would love that. And I personally feel like I am a good advocate and deserving of it, but what can I do to get there? And what have I been doing? And what can I do more of? So I would just, I've obviously got that as a list. And then I type in everything that I think I can do and do more of or continue to do that I'm already doing. And then obviously type in those words to Pinterest and then obviously type in women's health and then like get a front cover that you like vibe with or whatever. And then that's when you start creating the mood board um, around it. Does that make sense? So that's how I do it in my lovely little dyslexic brain. So for example, Sierra, she spoke to me. Love the red. I feel like if I was a color, everyone says I'd be red or orange and I'm okay with that. And she's iconic. And the song that she did, which was, it's the song where she bends over backwards. And I literally practiced that so much every day, like so much every day when I was younger. And she's like leaning back being like, whoosh, whoosh. Just iconic. She is freaking iconic. And that song is amazing. Do you see how I really just go off the track? You can imagine my day-to-day -day life is very stressful for me because I can't concentrate properly on one thing because my brain just flickers completely off. One minute I'm on, I wanna be on the Women's Health front cover. The next minute I'm telling you about, oh, I used to do bloody backwards bends and I'm obsessed with Sierra. And this Like A Boy video was my, what's that thing on TikTok? 
that's currently going around, or not currently, that was going around, uh, the boys were like, is this your... Oh, my life. Roman Empire, there we go. My Roman Empire is this song. And I just saw in the comment saying she deserves a Super Bowl halftime show. Yes, she does. She's freaking stunning. Anyway, I could get into a, a bit of a hole with her, so we won't do that. Anyway, so then, after my brain has about 10 different tangents, we pop it into the mood board. Might pop some like nice quotes in as well. Obviously, like a lot of things I want as well are heavily to do with like fitness and my brands, but obviously I have like very personal goals as well, like with me and Alex, things like that. But I like to go mainly off feelings this time of year, especially. Yeah, because like I said, if you're not feeling it, then how do you expect yourself to get those goals? Which is why I think with like, exercise and nutrition, it just makes you feel good. And if you feel good, you speak good, you are good, you know? Anyway. I'm gonna now just set up on my laptop, open up Canva, and start kind of saving down some Pinterest bits. Transfer it, put it all in, make it cute. I might even do a little Instagram post on it. Also to follow on from intentional goal setting. We're gonna have a little glow up. I've just done the gym. Very good sweaty session. Currently just doing the warm up week with We Glow. So just getting myself back into the swing of things. On the 8th, I'm gonna start. I always love to start the new year with you guys. And then I'm gonna see how I feel. But yeah, I think I'm gonna start the January strong and healthy challenge with you guys. It's four days a week. So very kind of doable and you're just perfect if you don't have that burnout kind of vibe, etc. Anyway, I can speak to you about that later. So now we're gonna sort this out. And we could scrub it up, dub. Very needed. Very excited. I don't know why I have my headphones on like this still. Um, but I'm just gonna show you some of the key things that we'll be using today to scrub them down. Are we ready? This bad point from Animus. See, I'm not sure if you're gonna do this dry or wet. I've been using it wet. Then I saw a girl doing it dry. I don't know, it feels a bit harsh. I think I'm gonna stick to wet. I'm gonna wash the me and right out of my hair. I'm gonna wash the me and right out of my hair. Send him on his way. These today. We are continuing the glow up upstairs. I have just popped this on my body. I absolutely adore, like adore body oils. And this one does not disappoint. I've actually not tried this one before. I've tried the, you would have seen the other one, which is in the red bottle from Alibis. I've heard this one um, isn't so, it doesn't sit on your skin as much, which is actually really nice, especially if you're like putting clothes on straight away. The other one is like, if you just want that mm, glossy, Glow. But anyway, because there's something in this which just smells. I could literally smell it all day. Oh, for the body and nails. I like that. Oh my god, I'm gonna start doing that. Guys, how proud of you? How proud of you? Of me? Are you? Natural. Look how long they are. I've actually, that is because of Fabel, Beeble, B I B A, Buildable, Buildable Nails that I have started to do. I've actually got an appointment on. Saturday to go and get them redone because I feel like they're gonna grow out and they're just a little bit too long at the moment where <laughs> I'm gonna do some skincare. I'm gonna use this one, which is one of my favorites. As you know, I've been using this one for years. It is the Ule Hendrickson toner, which is amazing for dark spots. And I feel like if I'm having a bit of a bad skin, etc. days, I use this and I feel like it really helps as well. Um, this one is a little bit more harsh than just like your normal gentle cloak. Clean, uh, not cleanser, toner. Um, so if you do have like a spot or something, it will sting. So I would say like don't use it on if you have like very aggressive spots, although I quite like it when it tingles because it makes me feel like it's doing something. So after I kind of do that, I do like to just, and then just tap it into my skin as well. The skin is drinking. I realized I said I was gonna do this, but I forgot. But I might do that tomorrow as like a little morning, wake me up kind of vibe. But as you guys know, I am almost 32, never had any Botox or anything, but if you just want like a little lift, I feel like, and you don't have, because I think if you have filler and stuff like that, I think this is not for you or you shouldn't use it. Because when you go in and you've got to fill out a form, they always ask you when you go in and stuff like, have you had filler or, or Botox in the last two weeks? And if you have, you can't use it. So if you're a natural girly, not that 
I don't know why I think it's offensive if I say you're not natural. If you're not natural, hey, it's fine. I'm just saying, I think if you have had any procedures like that, then just like check if you're allowed to use this basically. I'm not 100% sure. Anywho, I'm really getting off tangent, but this is one of my favorite things to do. And I just feel like it really sculpts, lifts, depuffs, long-term lasting effect necessarily, but it's kind of like a gua sha. So you've seen the results from that and stuff, but as as always, I'm so inconsistent with it. It's amazing for like nights out and stuff. Alex got me this, I just did TikTok actually on it this morning. Um, Alex got me this for Christmas at the road. I have seen it obviously everywhere. And um, as Miss Hayley does it, she puts it in her hand and then puts it on her face. Tree influence, to be fair, this has been out for well, ages now, and I've always wanted to try it. So I've waited, I've really thought about this purchase, slash Alex purchased it for me, but I really thought about it. Now I'm here, and that's what we're doing. So I'll let you know how I get on with this one. Um, I feel like this is a bit more of like a day um, product, to be honest, but I just wanted to show you guys my new purchases. One thing I have definitely learned is to not mix your skincare up too much, um, but here we are, that is what I'm doing. So we're now using Dr. Jard under eye cream, which I absolutely love. It's like little bits in it, which kind of then disintegrate. I'm not sure what those bits are. It's nice and smells good. That's that one. We're gonna use the peptide glazing fluid. So this is, as I said, the first time I'm using like pep peptide. I feel like this is like a glow up. I'm gonna use three pumps. It says two, but I have very thirsty skin. Cause I do it on my neck and stuff as well, like already. My skin is just drawing the horror I got. I liked it this morning, I'm liking it now. And then we're gonna use the peptide. Am I saying this right? Again, this has like bits in it, which I think is for the exfoliation. I'll be honest, and I actually get very crusty lips, so I appreciate the little bits. Just to know, it is bitty. I wasn't expecting the bits. And then I'm basically skin ready. This one is a classic, I always use this one, and with that skin. Now onto the hair. Squirts of the Karastase oil, and then I'm going to dice on it. I'm just gonna do like a no product blow dry. So I'm literally just gonna use the oil and then go through this very softly so that my hair just feels really soft because I find sometimes if you put product in it, the curl lasts longer, but it just feels a bit crunchy. Also having a glow up with tidying. We're almost there, we're getting there. But yeah, I'm gonna use the Dyson. So this, wet brush is actually my mum's that she brought um, when she came to Ibiza. She gave it to me willingly, willingly. And then since I've seen it so much on TikTok and stuff, it's like so good. She was really drunk actually when she showed it to me. She was actually drunk when she gave it to me as well. She was like, look at it. She's like, look, watch, ready? Look, it just, no, have you got knots? She's like, no more. So she sold it to me in her drunken state, which I highly appreciated. She's like, take it, take it. And I was like, you sure? She's like, yeah. Take it, I'll get another one. Easy, I can just get another one. I was like, thank you, Julie. So anyway, I really like this brush because I know I've always been with this brush and I do love it, but actually I was finding it was taking out quite a lot of my hair. I don't know, I feel like this one doesn't pull your hair as much, whereas this one I think is more of like a tease. And if you've got like, if you've just done your curls or something, it's quite nice to tease it out with rather than like an aggressive brush. Um, So really recommend this one, Very, I'm not sure where my mum got it, but it is called wet brush, which I thought you were meant to only use with wet hair, but I was in fact wrong about that one. Um, you can use it on wet, dry hair, whatever you fancy. Hang on. It's just really dark now, isn't it? And then I basically just section off my hair into like three and then just get that. <laughs> cool for a little bit and then I will brush out and then I'm really enjoying this glow up I think especially because you only have new products it just makes you feel like new year mm. you know so as you can see it's just like very loose curls pretty much cooled down and then I just tease them out like so and then it keeps like a really nice soft curl but your hair isn't crunchy and there's not loads of product in it I've literally just used that oil I'll put a little bit more oil in it now in my comfies I already feel so much better um I feel like yeah you just need a good scrub down to start your year off in the right way also clean hair if your hair is dirty and you feel like wash it right now because I promise it'll make you feel a hundred times better. If I have dirty hair, it just makes 
my whole everything feel greasy. I wash my hair loads, to be honest with you, in the week. I remember when it was this whole thing, like, you shouldn't wash your hair loads. And I was like, oh my God, I wash mine so much. I think I've got pretty healthy hair for how much I wash, wash it. Because I don't think it's about necessarily washing it. I think it's about putting a shit ton of heat on it all the time. If you're oiling it and everything like that, um, which I've done for years. So don't think there's anything wrong if you have time, etc., to be washing your hair. I love the experience personally and I could do it. I just love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. I love showers and I love washing my hair. So fucking passionate about it, guys. Have you ever seen me speak more passionately about anything? I don't think so. I'm gonna go and now for um, the rest of the afternoon, I've got just a few little bits of work and stuff to do. Um, and then I'm gonna continue doing my mood board and I'll take you guys through that with me, which will be fun. vision board because I've done it over last night and tonight. I feel like it's taken more time, but it actually is very quick to do. And I've just basically started putting my images into my Canva and so, so easy, literally. Well, actually what was hard is that my, my laptop didn't want to receive any of the images that I had saved from Pinterest on my phone. So that was, that was fun. But we powered through and I'm basically going to make about three different pages of mood boards, which essentially will be my goals for the year. Some of them are a little bit more like business orientated. Some of them will be a little bit more um, life orientated, etc. Some a mix. But this is my first one that I've kind of started, but not finished just yet. There. It's not like really obvious, but it's very obvious to me what these goals are. For example, I want to go to fashion weeks this year a lot more. And like, obviously like, for example, the business woman in the middle, just like very iconic images that inspire me and that remind me of what I want to do, what I want to do, and they just make me feel happy. And then for example, we have the grapefruit. You can mix and like push everything forward and back. Honestly, I am, as you guys will know, so, so bad on the technology, which is ridiculous because I own a fitness app, but I am not the coder, people. I am not the coder. Coding is wild. Honestly, it's like incredible. If you do something all the time, you're gonna be, you're gonna be good at it, you know? Grapefruit is to represent a woman's vagina because obviously I want to work with I want to work with a women's health charity next year really really badly obviously I have worked with women's health charities in the past I give personally to women's health charities but I want my brands to start associating with women's health charities more and also just tap into women's health a lot more bringing it a lot more on the app just be like an advocate for women's health and the grapefruit is just a nice way of being like boom boom and then I have got other images as well which represents that which I will add into my other my other mood boards um, and then for example i've got like key little quotes which are quite cute for example everything works in my favor and then i've saved other ones down which are like focus discipline consistency which again i think goes quite nicely with um this mood board that i've done here this one's quite like dark vibey one so i don't know i tend to go for like what i'm drawn to is quite like the dark aesthetic and that kind of low contrast vibe. So yeah, I'm naturally just drawn to images which tend to kind of like feel a little bit more like that. For example, I can save this down, like I can put it as my screensaver, things like that, um, which is just like a reminder this year to be like, boom, you've got this. I love it. I actually really enjoying this one. I might come back to them, add, take away, add in some lines, etc. So when I do it, I like to pick one picture that I then basically, or how I've done it, with how I've saved down the images. For example, like the black tones that I've just used, I'll pick one image and then off the back of that, I pick other images which look really good with the tones of the original image. It's like when you pick an outfit, like you pick your one piece and then you style it around that. For example, like you really wanna wear certain trousers, so you pick those trousers and then everything else just goes to complement the trousers. You don't pick, oh, I wanna wear this top and I wanna wear these trousers, one thing, and then everything else complements that. My In my second life, my third life, my first life, I would have either been a vet, a stylist, <laughs> What's that? Yeah, so for example, I've just picked this image, which is a lot more like beige, brownie tones. So I'll then add that to the top left corner. Um, this one is home gym. And then I will work my way 
now and create the vibe of my second mood board. I'm looking now as well and thinking, do you know what, beige, reds, we're going for it. So this one, the first one I did, I had a clear goal for the vibe, which was like more business goals, things that I want within my business. Anyway guys, I'm, I'm gonna just show you because so that's that one, which I think is a buy. And then this one, which you may or may not get some of the bits and bobs in here and think, obviously, women's health, just like nice little snippets. And the last one is kind of a bit of a mash, mishmash of like, Personal, business, all that kind of stuff. Some goals. You're probably thinking, why is Kelly and Beyonce there? Listen, guys, if it happens, you'll know. You're probably thinking, what the f but Yeah, I feel like this one is a lot more of like just a mismatch of like a bunch of stuff. Would love to get more like articles in Vogue. Would love to do more like in-person classes and things with like We Glow. Would I love to also collaborate with a brand, for example, like Revolve, um, host with Revolve, new classes, go on trips, etc. things like that. You know, Miami, wanna go there. Me and Alex. She inspires me. So be the woman you would look up to. Like, I just love that saying so, so much. And I think that's something that everyone can seriously take away because we all want to be someone, but aren't always prepared to take the actions to be that person. You can do that. You can, everyone is capable of being that person. Not every day, just making those small changes every day. And I think even if you look at yourself now and things that like you've done, being kind, just things like that. Like your little self, like you as a little girl would look up to you now. So yeah, it's just kind of like reminders and stuff like that. Those are my three mood boards that I've done. I also had dinner in this time space frame that we were here together. I just feel like the first one is my favorite in terms of like the aesthetic. It's not as fussy. There's not as many things in there as the other ones, but they still, it's still got a lot of values and goals and big goals that I want this year. So it's just like a good reminder. Um, and I feel like it's like sub more subliminal little messaging in this first one, whereas the other ones are a bit more obvious. That is the end of that is the end of this kind of. Actually, I'm gonna save them down and then I'm gonna show you. That is my lock screen now, which is a vibe. I mean, it's like constant reminder, focus, di discipline, consistency. Everything works in my favor. And then just little reminders. I've got my vagina I can think about. Businesswoman, self-care, goals are right there. So I like that one there, I think. And then I can also go into your photo album and then basically um, create an album, which is 2024 goals. So new album and then 2024 goals. And then I like cherries and I like glowing. I also like dancing and I like the beach. So the world waits. So I'm just sorry, I'm just talking through emojis that I'm putting next to this. And then I feel like I'm gonna go laptop, laptop lady, do a bit of work. And then we've got the 2024 goals there. And then I can just tap into that if I wanna change my lock screen or home screen and add in anything as well that inspires me in terms of like business, etc. Like, you know, things that you just like screen, screenshot, etc. whack into there. Easily accessible, obviously. Um. So then I also want to save this middle one. I want to save this one as my use as wallpaper, but I want to use it as the back wallpaper. Now that one's bloody my screensaver, which is, is a vibe, but it's just a bit too in my face. Yay, so that's my home screen. And then I open, oh no, I think you're gonna die on me, aren't you? Oh. I don't know if this is a bit busy for my background now. Quite intense. If you've just seen that I have 404 text messages, you'd be correct. I have this fear. I don't know what it is if someone messages me. Sometimes I fear for like days. Like what have they said? I don't know, it's like this thing ingrained in me that I don't know if it's like anxiety. I don't think it's strong enough to use that word. It's fearfulness. But it's a problem. I need to address it. Is it gonna be the year I address it? Anyway guys, I have got to, I have got to post something on Instagram. Yeah, I've got to post something on Instagram now. So I'm gonna charge my phone. Um, really look over my mood boards because I might do one more, which is less messy. And then I might put that one as my under the app 
screen, like a bit more quotey and stuff like that because I think the other ones are a bit too messy, you know? I just really, really quickly made this, literally just using two quotes. Some cute images that make me feel happy. I put them on healthy, hydration, sexy back, and then someone just travels, that kind of vibe. Love how my laptop is now gonna die as well. So that is what I'm gonna put on my screen. And then I've got an upload. I've got to gave myself an upload to Instagram now. Honestly, the amount of content I have that I do not upload is wild. This is going to be a glow up video. I don't feel like I look like I've glowed up. But inside, I'm feeling like I'm glowing up. Anyway, guys, I think I'm actually going to end this video here. Thank you so much for always watching, commenting, such lovely things. I'm so appreciative of you guys on YouTube. Yeah, I'm just really excited for this year together. I'm hopefully going to share more, be more consistent. Also, I just want to remind you guys that the strong and healthy challenge starts the 8th of january and i just want to wish everyone i know there's so many of you joining it everyone good luck and just always remember you showing up is always the hardest part and you should be so so proud for yourself for just showing up um and just trying to make your every day a little bit brighter and i hope that we glow can bring that to you as well this year because yeah i just think we're on to something and i'm so excited it feels like it's clicking the way that it's going but yeah i just want to say i'm so proud of everyone and good luck with this challenge and I'm gonna be there with you every step of the way as always. Don't forget as well, we obviously have our WhatsApp community group if you wanna join that. That's obviously in app um, under your home um, profile, the little person in the left hand corner. Um, so tap there and you can join. Keep me updated with how you get on with that as well and I will speak to you very, very soon and goodbye.